Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Wolverines are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. with an exciting football atmosphere here at Camp Randall Stadium. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Tucker, the kicker's the got the ball set up and we're ready to get this thing started. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 32-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That'll make it 35. Scooped up. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From the 37-yard line, second down. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. Screen pass. He's got his hand back. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. I think if they go for it here, it's going to show a sign that this team is going to be real aggressive with their decision-making today. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Slings it. And down he goes at the 17. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver.
the 10. And he's taken down at the 1. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It's second and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Wolverines! Did they hold it, coach? Man, the big fella's a battering ram, isn't he? He's almost impossible to slow down in short yardage situations. Big touchdown, and they really had to grind their way to the goal line there. And he adds the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. And for Baylor, they can afford to lose today's game and expect to make a bowl. The Miners are on top, 10-6. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28. Michigan's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 43. And now he's got room to run. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Side, and they got him for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The Wolverines really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen and not to mention your wide receivers. I thought he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. Slings it out there incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Michigan is up by a touchdown. He's under some heat. And he's sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So that sack will back them up a little now. They're looking at a difficult third and 13. By 
Myers to his tight end. Nothing to it. So at the end of one, the Wolverines lead 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Hines awaits the snap. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. And that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. He has all day, but scrambles out. He's taken down at the 49. You can't design these kind of plays. You really can't, Brad. That was just great instincts to know where the sticks were. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Little handoff. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Second down, five to go. Ball on the 28. Ready! He has some room. And they make the stop at the 16. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. He's in trouble. They'll make the sack. And for Moses, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. This is the eighth play of this drive. down at the 22 yard line that's good for a gain of two yards that'll bring up third and long so another third down here and this time it's third and long That's a loss of about three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it.
He's under pressure. He launches one for the end zone. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Michigan is up a score. He gets sacked on the play. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Miller gains about four yards there. Wisconsin's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 22-yard line. Third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Wisconsin's going to have to use their second time out of the half. McDonald is back deep to return the punt. And he just got stood up right there. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 40. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36. Scrambling around. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it and he's got room to work. Some time. Tackle at about the 17 yard line. And the clock continues to run. Now let's see if they try to hurry up here. He lets it go. Incomplete pass. Third down again. Incomplete. Boy, this quarterback just continues to struggle. That was a pivotal down. On third down, they're trying to find a way to get a first down. Another incompletion, and now it's fourth down. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff most likely to end the half Walker from the three they'll bring him down at the 22 we head into halftime with both offenses struggling the Wolverines lead it by four Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation, 
that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackle. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's out to the 30. Oh, what a hit. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Michigan holds a four-point lead. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 39. Second it's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Fires it out, and down he goes, right around the 30. That's good for a game of seven yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 30. On the throw, incomplete pass. And a quick throw, and he's taken down at the 18-yard line. First down. Two times, two times. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Michigan is up by four. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at about the 11. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 62-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. 
Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Good outside run there. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. And now he pitches it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. One-yard loss for the halfback. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That makes it 37. trouble but he can't shake the defense the offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit he was in there in no time and that's three and out nothing going on that series Marcus is the punter Miller fields it at the 42, brought down at the 46. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's hit and taken down. Fires across the middle. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. You can't block me. You can't block me. Get up. Down. Get up. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He has some room. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. First down. He zips it. From the 13 yard line, second down. He came down with it. Touchdown. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High-powered offenses everywhere. And for UCAP, the Misery Index reaches eight with their eight straight loss. And for Howell, off the charts with four touchdown runs. After this performance, only one way to describe him. Flat Boy Dog Warrior. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Tucker from the one, and he has it on the corner. Tackle at the 32. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. 
Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He fights forward to about the 33, and he gets a yard on the run. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 33. Up the middle for a nice game. So with one quarter remaining, Michigan leads it 21-3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Four down, four down. Check four, check four. Ready! Green and run and he's brought down. From their own 44 yard line. First down. up again on third down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Here we go. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Fumble! And the defense picks it up. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. ready to get things going again. Caught open field. He steps out the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Down at the 44 yard line. That's good to have a couple yards. That makes it first and ten. Ready! Ready 95! Check, check! Hammer! Now he's flushed and they got it. That is a loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and one. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Just under three to go in regulation. 
He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. That brings up third and 14. That's a loss of about three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Marcus awaits the snap. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Not a lot of yards of offense from either one of these teams. Yeah, no doubt about it, Brad. The one thing that's good, at least one of these teams has been opportunistic. They seem to get points every time they can. The offense comes back out. And as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Tackle made at the 38. That's good for the end of the That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. He's taken down at about the 45. The punt. score in this one. 21-3 Michigan. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you soon.